So I have another haul for you and it's not just any old haul, it is a Topshop haul which are my favourite to do obviously because um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I like a little bit of Topshop which is ironic because I'm actually not wearing Topshop today, well my bottoms are but my top's from Monkey, I only recently got it and I really like it. It's kind of like a, just a plain white tee but it has the nice like cutouts here which I think makes a change from a normal white t-shirt. I have had a couple of trips to Topshop over the last couple of weeks. I have one bag that I got today and then I have another bag which looks massive. There's not as much in there as it looks from maybe a week and a bit ago. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I just thought I'd combine both the bits. There's a few bits that I kind of needed, kind of were essentials and then obviously because I was online shopping um, I can help but just browse a little bit more. So I have ended up with bits that I that I need and then bits that I don't quite need. So I'm just going to show you them all. There's this really cool thing that Topshop do now where you can have the items sent to your local store and you can go collect them, which is awesome for people like me who are always in town. Town's literally like 15 minutes down the road to me. So I pay £2, which is half the price of like home delivery, and then I collect it in store. I can then go into the changing rooms, try the stuff on, and then anything I don't want I can refund or exchange there and then. So I think I'm actually going to start off with the stuff that I've got today, and I'm panicking a little bit because there's one bar on my battery on the camera. Yay! Oh, oh my god, I've just realised that like, half the stuff is in my bag. Hang on. Oh, I'm such a numpty sometimes. I was like, this doesn't look like everything I got. Oh wait, it's actually in my bag. I think that's it. Right. Cool, so everything's like bundled in this bag. So I was in the changing rooms, trying on all this stuff, and obviously everything's wrapped in bags. And I swear to god, they must have thought I was like trying to steal stuff. So I'm going to Barcelona on Sunday, but when you see this, I would have already been and come back. But I thought to myself the other day that I don't have any pyjamas that are sort of hot weather climate friendly. So I just got these little shorts and I just think these are really really cute. They've got a little stripe, got a bit of lace and little pink buttons and I got these in a size 8. These were £12 which isn't too bad and um, they've got little pockets on the back and they're really thin material so they'd be really nice and cool. I did really want the little play suit they had but they didn't, I think the last size they had was a size 16 so I just got the little shorts. So I'm going to put my hand up now and admit I have not bought myself a new bra probably since 2008-2009 which is really bad and they're just super comfy and I just haven't been bothered to like change them but I thought you know what I really need to get a new bra and I don't normally show stuff like this but I thought I might as well anyway they're just bras. The first one I got is this peach coloured kind of lace bra it's got a little bow in the middle and it's really weird because these feel really brand new and the underwire feels really hard and the underwire on all my other bras now just seem like really soft so I'm going to have to wear this in. This was £18 but hey it's going to last me a while. And I find it really hard to find bras that are like cheap because bras can get really expensive. Like if you go on fig leaves, I love figleaves.com but they are super expensive. They do decent bras but when you go elsewhere like um, Lizenza, I've got one good, no two good Lizenza bras but um I find a lot of the cheap ones, especially New Look, they have like padding here so they're push up and I'm sorry but I don't know how anyone can wear them because I always find when I wear them, and this might be you know too much information here, but they push my boobs up so much that my nips are hanging out and I, I don't really understand how anyone can actually wear them. <laughs> so yeah, these fit well and then I got one more and I just got one in a cute little um, sort of dark purple colour and then it's got little peachy coloured straps and that was £16 and then I got the matching undies which I'm not really going to show you, they're the undies, let's put them on the floor and then I got a cute triangle bra and I think this is really nice and I can wear this under tops and it kind of looks like, well it obviously doesn't look like a top in itself but it doesn't look like a bra, I don't really know. It looks like this and it's got this really cool aztec -y tribal kind of print and a little cut out in the middle and just some really thin black straps. I just think it's going to look really groovy underneath white tops and like sheer tops, maybe like a sheer dark top, it'll look really groovy under. So yeah, I got that and I got that in a 10, probably could have done with an 8, but it's okay, and that was £18. 
I'm saying all the prices only because you guys always ask me to talk about the prices and the sizes of my items. And even though I kind of feel like you could just click on the links in the down bar because I, I will link everything in the down bar. I always do. It takes me ages, but I like to be as helpful as I can. The next thing I got, whoa, okay. It's, half of it is attached to my finger. So the next thing I got is this swimsuit. I've not worn a swimsuit since I was probably about eight, but I think this one is adorable and it's polka dots and it's got this like high-waisted effect. The bottom half is dark, which is a lot more flattering. And this is an eight and I think this was 36 pounds, which I don't know. I don't feel too happy about spending that on because I'm only gonna wear it maybe a couple of times this year, but I'll make sure I sort of wear it in years to come. This is the bit that comes with it. If I didn't have this it wouldn't stay up and it's just like a little halter neck bit that clips on. But can I tell you, almost every single one of these in the store doesn't have one of these on because the little gold bits here that clips onto the bikini, they all seem to fall off and I don't know why because they're actually attached into the bikini bit. So I don't know whether some of them were made a bit faulty. I don't know. So um, I did buy this the other day, got home, one of the gold thing things, things, oh my god, one of the gold things had gone missing and I was gutted. So I took it back and then today when I was in Topshop collecting my bits, I found um, another one in size 8 with the gold bits so I am like looking after these like mad so I don't lose these. But I'm excited to wear that. And the last thing that I ordered online is a new bag. Now I have not had a new bag for ages apart from the new gym bag that I bought recently. Um, the, my go to bag is like this black bag from Topshop that I got about four years ago and it's kind of on its last legs now. So I got this cute little brown bag. It's a really soft leather. I don't like bags that are really structured. The only thing about this is there's no adjustable strap. Now for me it's a perfect length on me but for anyone that likes their straps thinner, not thinner, shorter or longer then you're going to have a bit of an issue. It's got a pocket at the front, it's got two pockets inside for like phones and keys and then it's got a zipped pocket inside here which I like to put things like my phone in and valuables in when I'm in places like London in case I get pickpocketed and then there's quite a lot of room in here so it's a decent size bag, not too big, not too small but it's one of those bags that fits a lot more in than you think so I'm excited to use this. On to the big bag of goodies. I've got some more underwear here. I just got some just got some knickers because they always have their three for ten pounds, three for twelve pounds. I forget how much it is. It goes up every year. But that's always really handy. I always feel like I lose knickers. I don't know why. It's not like I walk around with no knickers. So <laughs> I don't know how I lose them. It's like Kirby grips. Kirby grips, hairbands, knickers and socks. They all tend to get eat, um, eaten, they all tend to get like lost, I don't know if my washing machine eats them or like there's some pixies that come in in the middle of the night and steal my undies. So I got a mascara because, I mean I use my mascaras for a long time but the last mascara that I used was a long time for me. I think I had it for about 8 or 9 months which is really really bad I know I don't need to be told that that's really unhygienic it just got to the point where it was crumbling and smudging after like hardly anywhere so I bit the bullet and got another mascara and this is just the volumizer mascara from Topshop I really like it uh, these are my favorite kind of mascaras just a basic medium sized bristle wand and it does the job the only thing is it has a weird smell I for the last couple of years I've been prescribed this nose spray for my doctors for my hay fever and the only thing I can compare what it smells to is um, the nose spray smells a bit like pollen and this is what this smells like, it's a bit, it's odd. Once it's on your eyelashes and it's dried you can't smell it. And then the other one I got was the waterproof mascara. I actually, the mascaras are really, really good and I'm really picky with mascaras. It just looks exactly like um, the other mascara I got so I will get along well with that. I got a waterproof one for my holiday. I like to wear it when I'm in hot country, whether I'm just walking around, because um, you get quite hot and sometimes mascaras can smudge. I don't wear makeup around the pool or on the beach, but I do like a little bit of mascara. So yeah, I got those and they were £10 each, I think. The next thing I got, and it's not very summery, I admit, and I do not need any more coats, but I couldn't say no to this. And it's this khaki green coat and I think it's a really wicked summer coat. I didn't realise it had elbow patches but I'm not that fussed about them and I probably roll the sleeves up on this so you can show a little bit of wrist so it's a bit more summery 
and the thing that sold it to me was the tartan lining now i thought the lining was all the way through but it's not it's like a short coat all my coats seem to like cover my bum and they only look really look good with dresses and skirts and i really wanted a coat that looks good with jeans so it's a good sort of t-shirt length brilliant for the summer because it's not too warm and it's quite fitted so you can't really fit like heavy knit jumpers underneath it but I think it would be um, really good for when it's raining um, and late at night in the summer. So you've got a hood to protect your hair and your makeup. And they have pockets, which is awesome because I always I put my hands in pockets. When I wear stuff that don't have pockets, I, f I don't know where to put my hands. I don't know if that's just me. So yeah, I really love this coat. Um, I don't have anything like it. So it definitely was a good purchase. And I'm going to ban myself from buying coats now for a good year. And I got this in a size 6 and it was £60. So the next thing I got, and oh, I am so excited about this. This is gorgeous and I'm so happy I am the owner of this lovely jumpsuit. If you saw it in my May favourites, I mentioned a jumpsuit from Topshop and I've just fallen in love with jumpsuits recently. I got this and now I'm going to have to show you this on because it's very hard to hold up. But I got this jumpsuit, it's this gorgeous silky fabric and it has really, what has happened? One of the legs has gone into the other leg, okay, um, yeah, so it has these really baggy, floaty trousers, so it almost looks like if you stand with your legs together, from afar it does look like a maxi dress, which is kind of cool, it has adjustable straps which is really good because um, it's a little bit long on me but if I make the straps really short it lifts it up and it lifts the trousers up a bit so it's not too short this would look amazing with heels I'm just gonna wear it with flats I'm so excited to wear this and I think Barcelona would be perfect to wear this out because obviously it's gonna be quite warm and I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this in England because the weather's not that great and I don't know if this is something I'd really wear in the day I definitely wouldn't wear this out clubbing in my hometown because it would just get wrecked but I just absolutely adore this. It's got a really 70s vibe. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. It has quite a mature feel to it. And I really, really, really love it. Size 6 and it was £60. Um, but definitely worth it. This is sort of like a one-off piece. I don't think I'll really get anything like this again. Last summer I got a pair of black jeans from Topshop. And I've worn the crap out of them. In my last video someone asked me where did I get my grey jeans from? They were originally black jeans, so they've got so grey that I needed a new pair, so I'm currently wearing the black jeans at the moment, but they're just the bog standard, top shop, super soft, comfy, um, I'm sitting with my legs crossed right now, so um, that's how comfy they are, and they pretty much keep their shape. Got mine in a size 8, they're a little bit tight around the hips, but if I get a 10, then they're too baggy on my legs. And then I got another pair in not too dark, not too light, denim colour, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I was really happy to find this colour. This is exactly the same make, both the jeans are the ankle grazer jeans, because as you guys know, since I've been like... 14 I've been rolling up my jeans anyway so the fact they're already rolled up is cool and these are oh my god these are so soft Topshop jeans are wicked the last thing I got is a jumper and yes I know Rhiannon's got another jumper but I couldn't help it guys it was on the last chance to buy rail and it was the only one there and it's this lovely red jumper I love it I love it I love it I love it it looks like it was made in the 70s I can't explain it it's just the knit and the style of it looks very old school but it's bright red and I love my jumpers and I don't have anything in this colour and it just I don't know it just works and I think it really suits my skin colouring anything that's in like a cobalt blue or a bright red somehow really suits my skin colouring like fair skin um, blonde hair blue eyes it, it just works and I picked this up off the rail and I thought oh brilliant it's the last chance to buy and they never have my size on that rail um, and I thought this was a 6 because it's pretty like small and it's really small around the neck but it's a size 12 but it fits and I've worn this a couple of times already I'm really sad now the weather's got really lovely and I'm not going to complain because I just wore a t-shirt out like this today and I was warm but I really want to wear this because I love it so much this is without a doubt one of my favourite jumpers in my collection if not I'm just going to put it out there my favourite jumper. I just think this is my favourite jumper of my whole collection. That is my haul guys. I hope you enjoyed it. All the links to everything that I've mentioned will be in the down bar if I can find the links. I feel like I'm doing a lot of hauls but I've worked out that it's only because 
before when I was doing hauls, and I hadn't actually done hauls for a long time, um, the last proper haul I did was back in October until I started doing them again in my last Top Shop haul that I did, and normally I would just bung everything together and do like a collective haul, whereas now I'm doing the haul as soon as I get the stuff, which I think is why I feel like I'm just doing haul after haul, but you guys like them. What can I say? Thank you for liking my haul videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!